What is up guys, it's World Vlogs here back again with another video, and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing off my entire jersey collection. And just so you guys know, the leagues that will be in this are NBA, NFL, and NHL. There, I don't own any soccer jerseys. Um, oh yeah, and MLB, I have one baseball jersey. Um, so yeah. Let's get into it. what jersey. Let's do the first jersey I ever got. Rip your ears when I put this down on the couch. So this is the first jersey. This phone just like doesn't like me. Or it's the stand that doesn't like me. I don't know. One of the two just doesn't like me. Hates me. Hates me a lot. What? Get tired. That. Alright. First two, let me get it into it. You know what? Just. I'm just, I'm getting tired of this happening. Stay. First jersey I've ever owned. It's a Red Wings jersey. It's a baby size, which is really close. It is a Steve Iserman jersey. It is stitched. As you can see, um, it's kind of messed up on the hanger. But yeah, that's Steve Eisenman jersey. Also, just so you know, the t-shirt jerseys do count because they have the team name, the number, and everything on the back. So they count as jerseys. Or at least I do. So yeah, Steve Eisenman jersey from a very long time ago. Probably from like, I don't know. When I was like one. So early 2000s. Well, no. Not early 2000s. Late 2000s. Late 2000s. Phone. Focus. Thank you. Give me a second to grab another jersey. Jerseys I'm done with. I'm going to put over here. My Danny, I mean, no, I think it's Danny, my Danny Inge jersey. He was my dad's favorite player, so he got this for me. Detroit Tigers stitched, obviously. This is actually, like, a really cool jersey, because on one side it's that, and the other side it's that, like that. So, I'm, this is, like, almost, I've almost outgrown this, so I'm looking to buy one on, like, eBay or something that looks like this, because it looks really cool, and I really like the design on this. So, yeah, this is probably from when the Tigers were still making runs to the uh, finals, so World Series. Actually, this would have been after that 2006 series. This would have been way after that. Probably 2012. My first ever, first ever NBA jersey that I owned. My Roy Hibbert jersey. I liked him when he was on the Pacers. He was a flashy center. He was cool. I was very sad when he got traded to the Lakers. And it's obviously stitched. Apparently my battery is low, so I'm going to have to hurry this up. But yep. Roy Hibbert. I'm on the 
ground. Let's do this one. I'm gonna go probably, I'm gonna go in like order of when I got them. Here's my Andrew Luck Colts jersey. It is not stitched, it is screen printed. Um, it's probably the first ever Colts jersey I ever got next to my Peyton Manning. I probably got them around the same time. I don't know where my Peyton Manning one is, so it's not going to be in that, this video. So, yeah. Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck. Probably one of the flashiest quarterbacks in the league, sadly. He's making a comeback this year, though. He might win Comeback Player of the Year. This one I used to wear a lot when he was on the team, but he's not on the team anymore. And I do not like him that much. Paul George. I don't like him, but this is a cool jersey. Screen printed. It's old, so it's kind of like messed up. I miss, I miss uh, wearing this a lot. But I can't really wear it out in public because I will get grilled for it. And I don't want to burn it because that's a waste of money. This one was a steal. This one was a steal. I actually found it at a Goodwill, and I was like, holy crap. It is a East All-Star Ron Artest jersey. <laughs> it's a Ron Artest jersey. And I've... It had some dirt on it originally, but my mom washed it up. And it's, it's cool, and 20 was from, um, on the Pacers. It... It was amazing. <laughs> it was a huge steal when I found this. I was like, actually, I think that day I watched uh, Mike Korsnemba's video on the mouse at the palace. I was like, holy crap. Okay, the day I got this, literally, my parents just came in my room and said, here you go. <laughs> it is a Frank Gore Colts jersey. They literally just came in my room and gave it to me. I was like, cool, because I like Frank Gore when he was on the Colts. Um, fun fact about him, he has dyslexia. I have dyslexia, something we have in common. And I liked him. He was a good running back. He was pretty cool. I always looked up to him. So, when he left to go to Miami, I was pretty sad. The rest of these are... NBA jerseys, I have the most of those. But this is my... I actually got this at Joe Louis Arena. My Luke Glendening jersey. So... It's kind of stitched. Kind of not. The reason I say kind of is because the letters are stitched, but the, th the inside of it is uh, screen printed. So it's kind of stitched. But yeah, I got this at Joe Louis Arena in the final season of it. So yeah, it's Reebok... It's new. It's only like two years old. So, yeah. Let's go with this one. This one I got recently. The dude was like really chill about it. It's a Carmel Anthony Denver Nuggets jersey. 
So he was like, if you're interested in it, I'll lo originally it was like 20 bucks, but then he, the dude was like, if you're interested in it, I'll lower it to 15 bucks. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I got it. It sure it is screen printed, but it was Car it's Carmelo from when he was on Denver and like the material on this is like the you know the baby blue, it's like that. It's the baby blue Denver <laughs> type. It's really cool. You can even see the price tag. You guys see it? This is 20 bucks. It should be on there. But he lowered it to 15 and I got a steal. Let's go with this one. I guess I'll go with both of you. We'll just do both of these. Alright, so. Set this one down. This one I got for my birthday. Old Depot Statement Jersey. And then this one uh, I got for Christmas. All Star Old Depot, or I think I got it. For some holiday. I don't, I th don't think I got it for my birthday. But yeah. All Star Oladipo. Probably. Two of my most coveted jerseys. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If the hall is let it go, my mom said to pick the very best one or not it. Okay. This thing falls. One more time. I'm going to be very bad. I mean, mad. Okay. Okay. I don't know what this thing's problem is. It is going to stand up. If it does not stand up, I'm going to throw this. I can't throw this. It'd be a waste of money. I'm not asking to zoom in. May I sit down? Now, focus, thank you, okay, this is my Adidas Miles Turner jersey that I got for Christmas last year, because I needed a jersey because Paul George had left. Miles Turner, the backpack man, the block, Turner's block, pretty cool, I like it. Last one, okay, white eye version, when I started bowling, I was young, my stitch, Highly coveted by NBA fans. One of the coolest designs that you can have. I had this on like the last day of school. I was so fly on that day. It was the last day of fifth grade. I had this. It didn't. It's nowhere near fit me. It still doesn't fit me now because it's a men's medium. But I wanted it to last me so I bought it. And probably one of the best designs for a jersey. Next to like the 2000s Raptors. But... Alan freaking Iverson. I came to school with it. There was this one kid who had a, a very old Paul George jersey. When he saw me in that, he wore that because he wanted to be cool. He saw me in that, his mouth just went. <laughs> it was so, it was the coolest thing. Because, like, it was stitched. It was Alan Iverson. It was so cool. It was amazing. It was only like two years ago. <laughs> It's amazing to me that he retired 
2011, this is many years after he played, and people still are amazed by him and his jersey, and one of my highly, it's one of my favorite jerseys. So that's my jersey collection. Pretty big. <laughs> I'm hoping to buy more. You know, Black Friday's coming up. You know I'm going to be spending it on uh, old video games and jerseys. So. I'm going to go to the mall. I'm going to go online. I'm going to go to disc replay. It's going to be amazing. I might vlog some of it. I don't know. It depends on how crazy it gets. That's all. I'll see you guys next time. I wanted to tell you guys, um, on the day after this one's posted, I am going to upload, the day or two days after, I'm going to upload a team on 2K. I'm going to upload here a team that my sister picked, uh, four players she picked, and I'll take it up once again against a team of four Michael Jordans, and we'll battle it out. And then the next video after that, I'm giving you a two-video Two videos that are coming out. Then after that, probably a day or two after that one, um, episode two of the my the cus the expansion team is gonna come out. So yeah, and um, so December's coming up, so that means I'm gonna get 2K19 soon, and then we can start making 2K19 like my career and stuff like that. See you guys next time.